Hello everyone. So today I'm going to use probability simulation using GeoGebra. So I'm going to build one, one simulation in GeoGebra to teach probability. So how to effectively teach probability in GeoGebra. So this is me, Manoj Debkota, and this lecture will be intended for EDME 404 ICT in Mathematics Education, Kathmandu University School of Education. But this can be applied uh, whoever, anybody who is interested in teaching probability effectively using simulation in GeoGebra. So I'm going to make this one full screen and then we will go slide by slide. We will, we will uh, begin with introduction and then we will do the simulation in GeoGebra and then we will move to assessment section which is similar to the one which is done in, in this tutorial. So let's go to the introduction. So probability is basically the chance that something will happen, right? It is a ratio. So the range of probability varies from zero to one. So zero probability means the chances of success is impossible, right? And probability one refers to absolute certainty of happening an event. So it ranges from zero to one, it can be expressed in percentage, decimal, or also in fraction. So there is one question. Two people are meeting for lunch between 10 to 11 a.m. Typical Nepali time, right? 10 to 11 having lunch. So it says between 10 to 11 a.m., so it's like 45 minutes. Each will wait no more than 15 minutes for other before leaving. So one will wait 15 minutes to other before leaving. What is the probability that two meet for lunch? So if they meet within this waiting interval, they will end up having, having lunch together. So we can do this simulation in GeoGebra. So uh, before that one, I encourage you to guess, make a guess, what will be the probability that they will end up having lunch together? So I'll, I want you to make a guess and then we will move to simulation. So I have done this in one in hyperlink, but I will not go to the hyperlink because it takes a little bit longer time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move to another screen where I have opened GeoGebra calculator suite. So I'm going to do a basic settings first. So I'm going to settings, I'll click here again, and I don't need 13 decimal places for anything. So I'll make it three decimal places and I'll make font size 20 to make it more visible. So, and then, and though, so my settings is good. Now I can move on, move forward. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to uh, define A as 45 into random, right? And then I'm going to set B as 45 into random. So they have difference of 45 minutes, right? They are meeting 10 to 11, between 10 to 11 for lunch. And I'm going to set one. So what the question says is, if the difference between A and B, it's an absolute difference, right? Absolute difference between A and B is 15 minutes because they wait an other for 15 minutes before leaving. And if they wait between that interval, they will end up having lunch together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a Boolean. I'm going to define a Boolean saying lunch. Lunch equals to absolute value A minus B and which is less than equal to less than or equal to 15. Now it's true, see? Now it is we are getting true because difference is less than 15, right? So they are ending up having lunch together. Now I need one button. I'll I'll call it randomize. I'll call it randomize. I have already created button here. So I will drag it here and then place it here. You have to be careful, otherwise you will end up uh, like clicking undo, right? You don't want to click undo, but instead you want to drag randomize to the place you desire. Something here is good, I guess. So right now it's not working, it's not generating data. So what I have to do is I have to update construction. Right click here, going settings, scripting, and then what I have to write is update, update construction, update construction update 
construction. Now it, it should work, it should generate data, but it's still now I need data in my list. So I like to call it data equals to list. Enter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here, randomize. I need more code. I have to write more code a little bit here. Then we are easy to go. Descripting. Now what I am going to write here is if, if bracket open lunch, if lunch, set value, set value dot da comma append, we would like to re return, right? And then we like to say data comma a comma b, a comma b, a comma b, comma if not, if not what? If not set value data comma append and then data comma. I'm going to write for undefined, I'm going to write question mark question mark for false value. You know? I'm going to remove this one letter, but I have to write, I have to write here undefined. I also need undefined data in my list. I'll remove it later. For now, I'm going to enter this. Okay, so now my code is good. And if I click randomize here again, I will be able to generate data and I will be able to uh, put it in the list. See, okay, we got it. Now it's getting true, false, true, false, true, false. So if you click here, you can also get undefined. We have also defined undefined. If you click here, see, we are getting undefined also. If you click here, it will, it, it will going, it is going to plot our data somewhere here. Yes, we have three data right now. So what I'm going to do next is, I'm going to write length of my data. Right now I have four, four data. I'm going to drag this little bit down here. So until now, my length of my data is five. If I click here, so it's going to increase, right? Increasing, but I don't want to click uh, every time on randomize, so instead, I'm going to make a slider. I'll do it later, but first I'm going to remove the undefined from my data so that I will get the favorable outcomes, right? So what I'm going to do is from the length of my data, I remove undefined, I remove undefined from my data. Enter, so out of 24, 15 are undefined, 15 are I have rem after removing 15, so my length is 15, right? After removing, after removing, removing the undefined, my length of my data is 15. So this code, to explain this code, I have to length, I need a length after removing the data, the undefined from my data, right? 15. And if I do 15 by 24, I'm going to get the probability, but I'm going to generate a little bit more data. So for that, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to define one slider, create slider. Uh, for that, I need interval, right? Zero to 10 and one by 10 interval should be fine. I have already created the slider, so easy. I'm going to drag it over here. Okay, it's, here is good. So right now I haven't linked randomized with slider, right? So I have to link the code which I have written in randomize in the slider section. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, I'm going to uh, click on right click on randomize scripting, and then I'm going to copy this one, control C. And I'm going to here right click here and then go to scripting section. And on this section, I'm going to write control V. Now we will be able to generate data. See, we are generating a lot faster than clicking randomize every time. Rather than clicking randomize, we can make a slider and then generate a lot of data very easily and very fastly. I'm going to zoom, zoom out this one. It looks like pickle, right? 
looks like pickle. Now we have a lot of data, like 337 already and increasing. Okay, great. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate the probability. I'm going to calculate the probability. Simply probability is favorable by total, right? Favorable by total. And then if I click here, I will get 0 0.599. If I increase a little bit more, and let's see what happens to the probability. Yeah, it's a little bit more than half, right? The probability is a little bit more than 50%, looks like. Okay, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain this was geometrically. So this is geometrically, how can we show geometrically, right? So interval is 60 minutes, I'm going to make a polygon first. Polygon, interval 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and then comma 60 comma 0 because 60 minutes right 60 comma 0 and we need four sides comma 4 I have already created polygon poly 1 and next what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one equation x equals to 45 one line and also y equals to 45 and the line x equals to 45 and y equals to 45 and another y equals to x plus 15 and another y equals to x minus 15. See, all my priority is coming here and this looks like fourth ninth of a square 45, square 45, fourth ninth of five ninth, five ninth of a square 45. So like this, we can do a lot of simulation using GeoGebra and we can teach efficiently probability. So, so we can move forward like, first of all, intuition of the students, what, what do they think about the probability? And then later we can do the simulation. And then after that, we can do, uh, we can again, uh, take the, uh, some volunteer from the students and then what do they think before and after? And we can do this by engaging students and, so it will be more effective than like confining in the books, right? Okay, that's all. So I'm going to move to the assessment section now. For the assessment section, I'm going to do is, what I have put here is a stick is broken at two random points. So we just need two, again, we just need two variables, right? While doing simulation, forming three smaller pieces, determine the probability that the three resulting pieces form a triangle. So in this case, so if one of the side is less than 15, they will not form triangle, right? So we have to define, we have to design the simulation that way in GeoGebra and then we will, others are similar, I guess. Other will be similar. And uh, saying that, so thank you so much for listening to me and I'll come with more videos in future. And that's much, that much for today. I'm going to sign off. Bye-bye. Have a good time.